Daryl Caldwell has been living with HIV for seven years. He'll be in hospital for a few more weeks, but it's not HIV related. Luckily, medication has helped him keep the virus at bay, but the thought of his diagnosis still makes him emotional. My, my life just flashed before me because I knew it was going to be totally changed. Caldwell is from Cody First Nation, where the HIV rate is 11 times the national average. Now he travels the province educating people about the disease. 80% of the people who have it in Saskatchewan are Indigenous, and he thinks that's a byproduct of residential schools. And they lost his parenting skills, and they lost his coping skills, and that's a lot of these people are covering up sexual trauma and sexual abuse and, and mental abuse and physical abuse. This Regina Health Centre is on the front lines of HIV prevention. More than 6,000 clean needles leave these doors every day, and about as many used ones come in to be destroyed. Fidia Reddy says more than ever there's an urgent need for testing and treatment. But there's a stigma out there, and that keeps some people away from the available resources. A person who is diagnosed with HIV at the right time and with the right treatment can have a zero viral count. They cannot spread HIV to another person. And, it's, and that's why it's important that we reduce the stigma. Caldwell agrees. He says he's ashamed of the disease, but he's confronted it head on. And that's the message that the researchers who presented the study want the public to know. The medications that we have to treat HIV work equally well against these strains. I'm telling them to get tested to be careful with your sexual partners. If you had unprotected sex with someone, get tested. The Saskatchewan government plans to spend $600,000 for HIV medications this year. And the workers at this clinic say raising awareness will go a long way in preventing the spread of the new HIV strains. Brian Rogers, CBC News, Regina.